Hi guys, I hope everyone is doing great and having a great day. I'm one of you aiming to build quality content in statistics. I believe together we can help each other grow. Now, let's get started. Question 17.1 A. We have been given S1 square, S2 square and so on as our sample variances based on random sample of sizes N1, N2 and so on till NR respectively and T is taken to be some statistic which is given as 1 upon A N1 S1 square plus N2 S2 square and so on plus NR SR square. We need to estimate sigma square and for that we need to find the value of A such that T becomes an unbiased estimator of sigma square and S squared is defined as 1 upon n summation xi minus x bar square. Now this is a very easy question. In order to find A, we simply proceed with finding what is expected value of Si square. Expected value of S1 square equals to expected value of n minus 1 upon n minus 1 into summation xi minus x bar square upon n which is equal to n minus 1 sigma square upon n. Note that si square is not an unbiased estimator of sigma square. So we get expected value of t as Now, for t to be unbiased estimator of sigma square, we note that a has to be equal to summation i goes from 1 to r and i minus r. This question is solved. Moving on to next part, we have been given r sample means based on sample of sizes n1, n2, nr and T equals to 1 upon K into N1 X1 bar and so on till NR XR bar has been added. Now we need to estimate mu and find the value of K such that T is an unbiased estimator of mu. We find the expected value of t and also keep that in mind that expected value of xi is equals to mu. So for t to be unbiased estimator of mu, k equals to summation of ni. Moving on to the next question, 17.2, we have been given a geometric distribution, fx equals to theta into 1 minus theta to the power x minus 1, x equals to 1, 2 and so on. Here, x denotes the number of trials before the first success. Now, we need to find an unbiased estimator of 1 upon theta. We know that expected value of x equals to summation of x goes from 1 to infinity theta into 1 minus theta to the power x minus 1 into x. Upon simplification, we get that expected value of x is equals to 1 upon theta. Hence, x bar is an unbiased estimator of 1 upon theta. So easy. Moving on to the next part. We have been given a random variable x that takes value 1 and 0 with probability theta and 1 minus theta. We have been given e equals to summation of x i's. Now we have to show that e into n minus e upon n into n minus 1 is an unbiased estimate of theta into 1 minus theta. Let's move on to the solution. Now, if x belongs to Bernoulli 1, theta, summation xi belongs to binomial n, theta. Here, if I take summation xi equals to y, then expected value of y equals to n theta and 
variance of y equals to n theta into 1 minus theta. Here, t1 has been taken as y. When I calculate the expected value of n t1 minus t1 square upon n into n minus 1, it is equal to theta into 1 minus theta, hence it is an unbiased estimator of theta into 1 minus theta. Moving on to the next question, we have been given t as an unbiased estimator of parameter theta. Then we have to show that lambda 1 t plus lambda 2 is an unbiased estimator of lambda 1 theta plus lambda 2 where lambda 1 and lambda 2 are known constants and t square is unbiased estimator of theta square. To prove the unbiased part is very easy. Expected value of t is theta. Expected value of lambda 1 t plus lambda 2 equals to lambda 1 times expected value of t plus lambda 2 which is equal to lambda 1 theta plus lambda 2. Also to show that t square is biased for theta square, we simply calculate expected value of t square which is equal to variance of t plus e t square which is equal to theta square plus variance of t which has to be greater than or equal to theta square since variance of t is a positive number. solving 7.4. Now we have to find if the given estimator is unbiased for the parametric function or not. Question A. We have been given x1, x2, xn as a random sample from a distribution with variance sigma square. Now we are using 1 upon n summation xi minus x bar square as an estimator of sigma square. Let's quickly see whether it's unbiased for sigma square or not. So we see that the given estimator is biased for sigma square and bias is equals to minus sigma square upon n so there's a negative bias Solving part B, where we have been given n units taken from an exponential distribution with mean theta and we are using an estimator 1 minus 1 upon nx bar to the power n minus 1 in order to estimate e to the power minus 1 by theta, where nx bar is greater than 1 and 0 is used when nx bar is less than 1. Guys, it's taking me a little time to solve this question, but I'll update it as soon as I'm done. Now, we have 
are successes being observed in n bernoulli trials with success probability p and they are using r by n square to estimate p square let's solve this question We see that expected value of Rn square is not equal to P square. So it is a biased estimator for P square. Next question 17.5. Give me some time to update with this solution as well. But if you guys have done this question, please, please, please share it with me. Question number 17.6. We have been given x and y as independent random variables with same unknown means mu. And x and y have variance 36. We have another estimator t which is a linear combination of x and y. And we aim to find when can we have t as an unbiased estimator of mu. We'll quickly use all the information that has been given to us. Expected value of x and y are equal and are mu. Variance of x and y are equal and equal to 36. t is equal to ax plus by. Finding expectation t which is equal to a expected value of x plus b expected value of y which is equal to mu a plus b in order that t should be an unbiased estimator of mu a plus b has to be equal to 1 also if a is given as 1 by 3 and b is given as 2 by 3 we find the variance of t Guys, how are you finding these exercises? I am uploading all the solutions, all the notes, idioms, phrases with very interesting animations on my Instagram page. Please make sure to check out. Link is in description. We have done this question, we will move on to the next one which is examining the unbiasedness of the given estimates. First one is a very common part and we have done it a lot of times. Always know that this is not an unbiased estimator of sigma square. Second one, S2 square. Please notice the difference between S1 square and S2 square. And S2 square is an unbiased estimator of sigma square.
In the next question, x size have been taken from a population with mean mu and sigma square and we aim to find an unbiased estimator for mu square. This is a very easy question. Guys, these exercises are completely follow along and I'd be really happy if you take your pen and notebooks and do these questions with me. They will help you in all the competitive examinations in your curriculum, actuarial exams, ISS exam, IIT jam, everywhere. These questions are very, very, very important. Please make sure to comment down what do you think of these exercises and should I make more of these.